Sure. And Steve, our Suffolk County Paul Lawrence. <laughs> Yeah, that was really wonderful. It was very impressive. I never knew you played guitar so well. I mean, I knew you. I didn't really know you played guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. But that was well, thank really, you. I was really impressed with her. I really enjoyed that. Sort of blending poetry and music. Um, How do you like your crack? The egg of dawn, horizons in the east, sunny side down. In the west, night dissipates, black coffee spiraling up a drain. I am toasted in the tight-lipped omelet of my bed, where sweat mushrooms into melting butter and still births me to the day's appetite. Somewhere, someone strangles a chicken for roostering too loudly and squeezes the egg from another life. Uh, this is a poem that I, I really shouldn't read because I just wrote it. <laughs> I wish we read it later because I was going, oh, I should have added something or come back. But I'm going to go, I'm going to walk a wire. <laughs> Stationary travel. This morning, this rising, this act of faith, this tea, eating, breaking bread with these birds, and now this bold red cardinal stalled in a tree. Is it a harbinger? An augury? No. It is only a small sun, a star in the morning blue sky, a painting, a singularity. And now he takes wing, an emblem, in the chest of a man in flight. I'll just read this last one. Don't pre-plan. We at Conklin Newgate Funeral Homes know that it's not so important what you do with your life, just as long as you lose it. <laughs> and let's face it, you're worth more dead than you are alive, what with that family of yours hanging on your every breath. So we at Conklin Newgate say, don't pre-plan. Make those bastard relatives of yours pay and pay through the nose because you're worth it. <laughs> so when you're writing up your will, remember to stipulate Conklin Newgate or no inheritance. Conklin Newgate, keeping your memory alive by billing your kids monthly. <laughs> <laughs>